Hey everybody, glad to see you back here. Eric Ferris, once again, the motherboards.org YouTube channel. Now, yesterday, we brought you the biggest swing and wang wang of the video card industry. Now today, we're slimming things down and we're gonna bring you an entry-level card of that same series by a different company. We're talking about the new XFX, that's right, XFX 7750 Core Edition. Now, one of the main things about this card is it's a single slot solution. Not very many cards are out there. You guys know this, so if somebody's gonna bring a real small system them, and space is of like ah the utmost this is a card you want to check out so without any further ado let's jump in and let's see what this card's all about all right folks so here we're going to see it the xfx play hard core r7750 core edition you can see our little award over here next to tweak down PCI Express 3.0, one gigabyte of GDDR5. It's got their ghost thorn protection. If you guys have seen the other reviews, this is really excellent cooling, delivers really silent and really good cooling. Flip around, show you guys the back of the box. Lots of stuff on there. Next generation graphics, expertise. Just has a lot of different stuff. Once again, we're gonna see the X Factor, talking about their cooling, their Duratec grade. These are all their components on there. They use really high components. Their power tune actually claims workstation grade performance on a desktop and it also supports the new HD 4K ready. How much that matters right now, I really don't think much, but it also shows the available outputs for the RIO and I like this one DVI, one HDMI and one display port. My favorite way to have it. So let me just show you guys the in here because a lot of people wanted the nomenclature. If you want to buy this on Newegg or Amazon or anywhere, this is the card you're going to want to be looking for. So let me flip back around. That's pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and take it out of the box now. Trusty knife. Make a knife quick, simple incision. Now, like I said before in the introduction, one of the really big things about this card is that it's a single slot design. You don't see many of those anymore. And that can come in handy if you're building a system that requires that. So let's pop it open. We've got the HDMI to DVI connector right here on top. Got some of the XFX paperwork, their limited warranty, quick install guide, all simple stuff. Most people buying the video card are going to know how to install it. There'll be very few, I think, who don't. Drivers. Adapters and connectors you can buy. You can buy lots of great adapters from these guys if you want. They have a low-profile kit as well. So if you're building a server or something, you might want to take a look at that. A little XFX Pro Series PSU paperwork, just advertising their power supplies. They're actually gonna have three new power supplies in the next week, I believe. I'll be getting those to review. The XFX, do not disturb, I'm gaming sign. Good for your parents or your wife. Just put them in the door and tell them to keep out. I'm playing some games. So that's that. Let's go ahead and take this center piece out, I believe. Pop it out of there and we get to the card itself. Now this is a beauty. Oh man, I almost want to laugh. I don't mean laugh in a funny way, but just it's just kind of crazy. Look at this card. It just seems so old school. Look, look how thin this card is. Single slot solution, baby, going back. Going back in time with the single slot solution. See your ghost thermal technology. Card nomenclature. Flip it around, show you the front. Got a single fan right here. Flip it around to the side. Now you guys are going to notice as well, what's missing here? Well, this card requires no additional power other than the PCI. So very low power consumption. You know there are some old school systems out there that don't have any extra power connectors. If you can use that, you'll be able to use this in your system because without that power, you wouldn't have a card. But with this card, you don't need that power, so you're in. You guys with a little HP and Dell system, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Here we have the DVI, HDMI, display port. The back of the card. And that's pretty much it. So there you guys have it, folks. Tell me what you think. I'll get to the full review as I test this card out. And make sure if you missed it yesterday to go and check out that Sapphire card with six gigabytes, that Toxic Edition bad boy. Everybody's been waiting for it. Go check that out and tell us your opinions. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you're subbed in the channel, know that we're going to have a great big contest going very soon for our 100K subscriber list. So thanks all of you folks. We'll see you back here on motherboards.org tomorrow.